another question for y'all. If I'm not messing up in the start of my videos, I, I'm going to be bringing y'all questions. So, question, and you can answer below down in the comments. Clones, inspired buys versus the real thing, the original DNA. Do you really care about it? Do you care? More so, if you're wearing Club De Nui Intense Man, are you telling people that you're wearing Creed Aventus? Come on, be honest. I'm asking for a reason. More to come. Let me know down below in the comments. Be honest. Be honest. <music>to what's going on YouTube what is going on what is happening man of course you got one more time Deirdre L. Higgs Jr. and I'm indeed back with yet another fragrance video okay so today we are here with a uh, full review a full review of a fragrance that absolutely surprised me I was kind of iffy going into the purchase um, but at the same time I was really interested in it okay and we'll get to that to get to that in a second but my smell good family hopefully y'all are well hopefully y'all are great Doing fantastic, man. Hopefully positive energy and positive vibes are all around you, your family, your loved ones, and everything that you got going on. And of course, if you're having a hard time up there, I really, really, really hope that good vibes and that energy starts to change around you in a very, very quick, quick fashion, okay? So let's go ahead and get into today's video. We are gonna be reviewing, um, like I said, a fragrance that I kind of bought it off of just a conversation that I was having with someone and I was really curious and boy I'm glad that I purchased it today we're going to be talking about from the house of Maison Alhambra we're talking about Woody Oud Woody Oud all right so for those who are <laughs> haven't been a part of fragrance community long yes this looks like a Tom Ford bottle okay Maison Alhambra made no ifs ands or buts about it what they were going for with this whole thing all right so we're going to talk about presentation what it smells like um how it performs in my experience and will i recommend it and you know my suggestions of you know how you can really rock this fragrance all right so let's go ahead and get into the presentation like i said you know like i told you before i've been getting rid of my boxes but somehow some way this one survived so here's the box for it all right, Woody Oo looks just like the Tom Ford uh, signature blend uh, boxes. And then on the inside, you know, nothing special here. The fragrance kind of, not kind of, the fragrance sits in there just like that. And then it comes out. If you have one from the Tom Ford line, that's what it does. So they took everything, everything from Tom Ford. And then you have the bottle. It is just like a signature blend bottle, cap, plate everything man it's just exactly <laughs> like it man so the presentation is nice but every time i look at it, i'm like man you know somebody has already done this and at the stage at the stage that i am in in my fragrance journey i don't care <laughs> i don't care it is what it is all right so presentation is cool let's go ahead and spray this on a tester strip so i can walk along um as we talk about the fragrance all right so the spray on this thing is real good decent pretty decent uh atomizer on this thing and it is in the air already for sure man i really 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 like this stuff um spices um all kinds of woods are in here the oud in it is just, you know, it's, it's, it's not crazy. It's nothing that's going to scare you or run you off. All right. And then I get this, um, this kind of sweetness to it in this, like it's this amber, uh, effect as well. I've only looked at the notes fully on this thing like one time, but just, I, I like to kind of wear it and then kind of let my brain wrap wrap around this and then go to the nose when I get a chance to talk to you guys about it. But oud, um, amber, kind of just this masculine elite scent. 
That's what this is. This stuff is elite. Now, for those who are asking already, how close is it to what it's inspired by? And if you don't know already, this fragrance is inspired by Tom Ford's uh, Oud Wood. That's what this is inspired by if you didn't know already. Now, I have a 5ml decant of Oud Wood from Tom Ford. And I must tell you, this stuff is really, really close. Of course, the Tom Ford... The ingredients in that are obviously a little bit more smoother, a little bit more quality. But once this thing starts to dry down, guys, it is really, really, really close and really, really similar to the DNA. So I really like this. Hub. I've worn this three times already in different settings, twice to the office and once when I was out and about in a cooler weather setting. All right. So let's go ahead and go to the notes, all right, on this thing. And um, you know, clones and inspired by fragrances, man, they have been a godsend to the pockets, to the wallets, to the pocketbooks, to the purses, whatever you rock, it's been a godsend, man. So this stuff right here is really, really good and super close to Tom Ford's Oud Wood. All right, so up top, you got Oud, you have in the middle, in the heart notes, you have Sandalwood, in the base notes, you have Amberwood, uh, Cambodian Oud, and Arganwood. And in the, the main accords, Vanilla, Musk, and Amberwood. So I got um, these from, the notes on this thing are very, very hard to locate. Even on the Mason, Mason Alhambra site, they don't have a pinpointing. But this is from one of the shops that I look to towards eBay. So I don't know how accurate this note breakdown is, but if I go to Fragrantica, and I talk about, you know, well, I read off the note breakdown for Tom Ford's Oud uh, Wood. I got to think that um, they're similar. So let me look that up real quick. It pops right up. Tom Ford Oud Wood. Main Accords, Woody, Oud, Warm Spicy, Aromatic, Vanilla, Balsamic, Fresh Spicy, Ambery, Powdery, and Sweet. Top Top, uh, Argan Wood, Brazilian Rose Wood, Sandal Wood, uh, Cardamom, Vanilla, Sichuan pepper, vetiver, tonka bean, and amber. So they don't have a top, mid, and uh, base. They just got them all together. So hmm. if you're trying to save some money, if you're trying to save some money and you still want quality and bang for your buck from the Oud Wood of Tom Ford, get Woody Oud by Maceon Alhambra. Now, this one also smells like Versace's Oud Noir, which is a spin on Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Because when I first smelled this, I said, man, this smells familiar. What is it? What is it? And then I got to look at my collection. I said, ah, Oud Noir by Versace. Now, out of the two, and maybe I'll save this for a versus battle between this and uh, the Versace Oud Noir. Both of them are really good, but this one is a little bit more smoother, man, especially on the dry down where you do start to get um, that sweetness to kind of rival the woodiness of this fragrance, okay? So, um, um, you know, again, I like it. Um, secondly, it is a masculine scent. Um, I don't think it's for everybody. In this case, with the Inspired By, you can go to your local department store and smell Oud Wood from Tom Ford, and then you will be right around the money about what you're gonna be getting with Woody Oud by Maceon Alhambra, okay? So, it is really, really good. It's not for everyone. It is a masculine treat, for sure. This is something that you can dress up if you're going to the office, if you're going out uh, um, uh, in the evening times, or especially if you're still dealing with some cooler weather, you can kind of do what you want with this. This stuff is going to raise somebody's uh, attention meter up to try to figure out what you got going on with this style of a fragrance for sure. All right. So, uh, the performance on this thing is really, really good for me, uh, to the office award, to the office is where I recognize the biggest performance, or, um, uh, the biggest performance stat line, I guess I got seven to eight hours of good performance. The sillage on this thing is pretty decent. Um, it does turn into a more moderate, uh, fragrance that it projects a little moderate as 
you know, the first couple of hours go by. So it kind of sits closer to the chest. But if somebody gets a good whiff of your momentum and the wind is going by or it's windy out, someone is going to smell you. They're going to notice uh, what you have on. Um, this is huge bang for your buck, for sure. Now, I challenge you, if you're not quite sure, go smell Oud Wood in your local Dillard's or your Macy's or whatever like that. And then order this. I'm pretty confident if you smell this versus Oud Wood, you're going to be like, wow. How much closer can you get for sure? Now, Macy on Alhambra is like the sister uh, house from Latafa. I think they're all under one tree, uh, I believe. So the quality of this is really, really nuts. And Latafa has a reputation of putting out some really good stuff. And this is one as well that has to be in the conversation. So who do I recommend this to? I recommend this to the bosses, man. I recommend it to the confident. I recommend this to the people who don't really second guess how they're moving, okay? Um, dress this up. You really, really should consider that. This is not t-shirt and shorts type of vibe for me. No, this is something that I'm putting it on. I'm putting that, I'm putting, putting a, a dope fit on. I'm stepping out, I'm well-groomed, and I'm really, really trying to make my presence known. And my scent, something like this, could definitely help me accomplish that if that's what I'm going for, for sure. All right, so um, try to sample Oud Wood if you can. I don't know how much you could sample Woody Oud, but if you could sample Oud Wood, check it out, and then you can make your decision from there. I got mine off of Amazon for $37.99. Link will be in the description. I know I'm horrible about that, but the link will be in the description if you want to uh, check this one out. All right, so Woody Oud from Tom Ford is great stuff. I really enjoyed it. And comparing it to my decant from Oud Wood from Tom Ford, it's crazy just how much more closer and closer that these uh, fragrances are getting from these clone houses. Now, somebody out there say, hey, D, we want to know, give me a percentage of how close it is. I think this is a 90th percentile. 90% to 100%, somewhere up in there, is how close you're getting to Oud Wood um, by Tom Ford, by getting Woody Oud from Maceon Alhambra. Okay, so I really like this stuff. It's really good. I've worn it a few times. I will wear it more as the cooler weather starts to roll out. I definitely will be wearing this um, because I really like it. And I think, I think that I like this a little bit more than Oud Noir from Versace. But we might do a versus battle on these two those two fragrances and really see how I feel about it. All right, so Smell Good Family, let me know how many of y'all have Woody Oud by Maceon Alhambra. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about it, how you feel about it, what is your experiences with it, and how do you guys feel about the Oud Wood DNA, period. Let me know down below in the comments, all right? So until next time, y'all be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves, like we always say here on the channel. If you'd like to be the next member of the Smell Good Family, all you gotta do is uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and meet me down below in the comments. We can talk about what you love and what I love, and that is the art of fragrance, all right? So Smell Good Family, y'all know the routine, man. Y'all know the drill. Splacker up, splacker down, splacker that thing all around. Take care of yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself, all right? I can't stress it enough. All right, y'all be cool.